both two all draw here against the uh, Leighton Orient. Is that two points dropped? Yes, definitely. Um, it's, you know, it's very disappointing. We've been in the lead twice, we've been pegged back twice. thought there was a lot of fortune about their first goal, but you know, it was the same as it was last week, so we can't complain too much. It's disappointing. You know, it's. I mean, we've seen the league and not many in the top seven of one today, and it would have been a lovely chance to to kick on and you know establish ourselves within that that leading pack. Had a couple of assists uh, for you this afternoon. How do you think? Uh, it looked like we created chances and we we got forward well. And for you again to create those those two goals is a is a bit positive, isn't it? Yeah, I've said many a time. You know, assists is what what I've, you know what I'd like to be judged on. Um, you know, I've got seven for the season now. I'm, I'm quite happy with my return and assists. Be nice if I contributed a few more goals, but you know I, I was pleased with the two assists. It's just disappointing that we didn't get the three points on the back of them. Yeah, disappointing as well. Maybe the manner that we did concede those goals. It is, yeah. Um, you know, it's, it's a big learning curve for some of the lads. You know, we've we've lost a marker for the second goal, which you know we pride ourselves on defending set piece as well. And you know, it, it's it's disappointing that, that we've conceded one from a set piece. And like I said earlier, there's you know a lot of fortune about their first goal. Yeah. And uh, two goals for Chris as well. Um, just getting those strikers firing and that's what he's been able to do this afternoon. Yeah, I think with Chris it is just a matter of feeding him. I've played with Chris years ago and he's a very good very good movement, very good finisher and you know we we need to maximise that with our play. Um, you know, you know if you get the ball into areas with him he's gonna bury you. And you know, at first when he took a touch on the cross I thought, what are you doing? Like, you know, just get it in the back <laughs> of the net but you know, he knows what he's doing in there and he's he's back two for us. Yeah, disappointing that we didn't get the response that we may have wanted after Tuesday night as well. Yeah, um, I think we started the game very well, and then for some reason, you know, that we'll probably analyse in the week, you know, we've let them get a foothold in the game. I think we probably allowed them a little bit too much space within our midfield to go and to go and you know gain some territory. Um, you know, it's just disappointing that, that we've allowed them back in the game. I think we're seeing they've got two points out of the last eight fixtures or something. So, you know, it would have been good for us to have kicked on and you know and sent the heads under completely. You know, put a foot on put a foot on the head and you know seen the game through, but. It wasn't to be today. As I've said earlier, it's you know it's very disappointing that we haven't you know taken a, taken a big opportunity there. Yeah. Obviously, no game next weekend, but the next one is a midweek uh, Chester game. You know all about. Yeah, you know it was probably my favourite game last season. Chester, where I thought the atmosphere was brilliant from our fans. I thought our performance was quite good on the day, and you know obviously we, we drew, but I thought we were good value for three points there. And if we replicate that performance again, I think you know we'd. We probably get three points, so it's certainly what we'd be looking to do. And you know, like you say, it's a derby, so it's more than just the three points. It's you know, black and white over the neighbours. Cheers, brothers. No, cheers. Thank you. Good job, Paul.